Father, we thank you. We worship your holy name. The mighty man in battle, we say thank you. For another wonderful day, Daddy, we say thank you. For another brand new day, we say thank you. We magnify your holy name, our Father. Our Father in heaven will bless your holy name. Our Maker, we thank you. Daddy, we worship your holy name. We thank you so much for your protection, for everything that pertains to our lives. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. I greet you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the week the Lord has made. This is the month the Lord has made. And this is the year the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. My name is G.A. David from Richmond Hill, Canada. By the special grace of God, I'm here coming your way again this Wednesday to share with you the word of God to bless you, spirit, soul, and body in the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with everything that pertains to your life as you are hearing the sound of my voice, as you are watching me in the name of Jesus Christ. Last week, we talked about the word of God, which I shall be talking about uh, the word again today, which I tied to the word part two the word of god is powerful i just see uh, i'm just here to let you know how powerful the word is if you study the book of genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 3 the bible says in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness covered the face of the deep, and the Spirit of the Lord was hovering over the face of the water. And the Lord said, Let there be light, and there was light. Amen. Word, let there be light, and there was light. And the Bible says in the book of Gen- John, chapter 1, verse 1 to 5, said, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It was in the beginning with God, all things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life. Take note. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light that shineth in darkness that darkness can never comprehend. And the Bible says you are the light of the world. Amen. Now, what are we talking about? We're talking about the Word of God. What is the Word of God? The Word of God, we have the Word of God, Logos and Rema. And uh, you may be looking at this as something that is just been written. But if you look at it celestially, you will know that it's above what you are saying. You will know that this world is greater than this thing that you are saying. You will know that it's, it's powerful than what you are saying. What I'm saying in essence this, when you read the word of God and you meditate in the word of God, you will know how powerful this word is. The book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says, This book of the Lord shall not depart out of their mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. And for thou shalt observe to do according to all that is written in it. For thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good sources. Take note. Good sources, not ordinary sources. This makes me to understand that there is sources and there is good sources. So the Bible says, thou shall have good sources. That means there's sources and there's good sources. And the Bible says, if we we'll meditate in this and do according to all that is written in it, and that shall make us, you know, 
with that, we shall be prosperous and we shall have good success. But what I'm talking about today, precisely based on the fact that we should come to understanding and know how powerful the word is. The word of God is so powerful. And uh, it is very important for us to be, you know, to be, to be, to, to be, uh, to be earnestly desire to be carrying the fullness of that word. Amen. It is very, very important, very essential for us. It is very expedient for us to know, to, you know, to be earnestly desire to be carrying the fullness of that word. If you know what the word is capable of doing in our lives, we will earnestly be desiring to acquire the fullness of that word. Amen. I'm just here today to just let you know that the word of God is so powerful than this. I want to let you know some people believe in the word of God you know, some people act as if they believe in the word of God, but they do not believe in the word of God. Some people can preach the word of God, they can tell you what is written in the word, but inside them, inside them, inside them, they are still doubting. And I want to let you know, I'm not here to condemn you when you are, you know, I'm not here to condemn you. You can doubt, you can doubt as far as the, as far you know that the doubt is not making you to be rebellious you know when you are doubting you know in the sense that when you are doubting you can through that through that doubt it will push you in order to seek more you know the face of the lord in order to maybe you don't have to in every circumstances in every situation you should not blame God. Rather, you want to blame yourself. That maybe probably you have not been worshipping God very well. Or maybe probably you have not been doing something you are supposed to be doing. But I want to let you know, like when you have been praying alone and you have not been reading the word of God, you may not acquire what you are supposed to acquire. And you, you know, you cannot blame God for that because he has given us the, the, the command. You know, he said, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate day in day and night. But thou shalt, you know, may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good sources. That means when you are looking for sources, you are believing God for good sources. And, the, you know, the rules and the regulation, the commandment has been given to you, but you have not been following it. Now, maybe you have been praying, believing God, you have been fasting, but you have not completed it by reading the word of God and meditating in the word of God. So that's why I'm saying that you should not, when you are doubting, maybe probably you are doubting what you have heard. Maybe the Spirit of the Lord impressed something in your heart and you have believed, maybe probably it has not come to manifestation during the a period of time which has led you to be doubting. That doubt is not sin once you have not been rebellious. What do I mean by rebellious? Once you have not run away from God. Rather, you are making that doubt to make you more closer to God by thinking or uh, by, by desiring what you are supposed to be doing more in order to hear more from God in order for that promise to come to fulfillment. Maybe you think that maybe maybe you've been fasting, you've been praying, maybe do I have to have it with night VG? Or do I have to do this? Through that you know what you're supposed to do by coming to understanding of having it with the word of God. When you are praying, your fasting is not completed. You're going to church. It's good to go to church. Very, very important. It's very, very valuable. You're going to church, you, you, you pray, you fast, all those are very valuable. But it has not been completed when you have not been reading the Word of God. When you have not been meditating in, in the Word of God. So it's very important for you. So now, when situation, some people believe, uh, you know, they, 
they they know that the word of God exists and they believe. But it, you know, in their in inside them, they talk about it, but inside them, they have been shaking, they have been doubting, you know, they have lost the belief. So now, but that should not make you see God in bad light. That maybe, maybe the boy, you know, maybe you've been thinking that the world, the Bible says, heaven and hell will pass away, but my world will by no means pass away. That why has God's words have not come to fulfillment in your life? No, you should not doubt that. Rather, you have to let that push you more closer to God in order for you to know where you are not still making it right. And one of the parts which is very important is the word of God. It's very, very important. If you have been praying, you have been fasting, you have been believing God, you have faith that can move mountain. Trust me, if you have not been, you know, having the word of God, it has not been completed. That's why I'm here today by the special grace of God to introduce again to you and to open your eyes and to remind you and to enlighten you that it is very important to be carrying the fullness of this world. And it is very, very expedient for us to desire the fullness of it. Because when we are carrying the fullness of God's word, trust me, the Bible says, in him was life. And the life was the light of men, the light that shineth in darkness that darkness can never comprehend. That means when you are carrying the fullness of God, the, the fullness of God's word, you are carrying light. You are carrying life, everlasting life. You are carrying power. When you are carrying the fullness of God, you are carrying blessings. The Bible says the blessings of God that make it rich and that had no sorrow to it. When you are carrying the fullness of God, you are carrying deliverance. You are carrying power. You are carrying elevation. You are carrying liberation. You are carrying energy. You are carrying capability. You are carrying strength. Amen. I take my turn from the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. Our Lord Jesus Christ is talking here. After when the, when the enemy, the devil, has tempted him, asking different kind of questions, I believe as a child of God, you know the story. And the Bible says here in the book of chapter 4, verse 4, Jesus said, Jesus answered, but he answered and said, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, by every word, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Take note. By, but by every word, every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. It is very, very important for us to listen to the word of God, to read the word of God. Like I said, we have Logos and Rema. That's what, we, you know, Rema is the word that God is speaking to us. And the logos is this, and you cannot you know, and it works together. So it's very important to listen to the word of God and to and to you know to obedient to that word and to keep reading this and meditating it for all you know for the commandment to be fulfilled in our lives so that we can have good success, so that we can be delivered. I want to tell you. You know, when you are going through challenges or you are having that, a kind of feelings that you do not like, when you have prayed, you have fasted, and the feelings have not left you, and you are still having that kind of feelings, I don't know, it could be anything. It could be nightmare, it could be anything, it could be any foolish things. And you've been praying, you've been fasting, you've been doing a lot of things. Trust me, I want to give you one key. Had it. Had reading the word of God. Had it to your prayer, had it to your night vision, had it to your faith, had it to add, add it. Just keep reading the word of God. Had it to it, you will see the different and you will definitely see the changes. It's very powerful. The word of God is so powerful. The word of God is mighty. The word of God delivers and it heals. And I believe and I know. And I believe you believe and I believe you know. It is well with you and it is well with everything that pertains to your life. Like I said, just coming here again this today to let you know that it's very important for you to have the word of God with you. The Bible says, This book of the Lord shall not depart out of their mouth, 
that, but thou shalt meditate day in day and night, and for thou shalt observe to do according to all that is written in me, for thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Not success, good success. And as you are hearing the sound of my voice, I release unto you grace to be reading the word of God and to understand the word of God in the name of Jesus. Grace to be carrying the fullness of the word of God. I release it upon you in the name of Jesus. Mama Shekele Baba. Grace to be carrying the fullness of God. I release it upon you in the name of Jesus. Grace to be reading the word of God with, with your precious time, with devotion, that you will come to the understanding and your eyes of understanding will be enlightened. I release it upon you in the name of Jesus. From sources to good sources. Mass from sources to good sources in the name of Jesus, from glory to glory in the name of Jesus, from honor to honor in the name of Jesus, be liberated, be empowered. I set you free from every seed of the devil in the name of Jesus. I release you from every nightmare in the name of Jesus. I release you from anything that is not of God in the name of Jesus. Anything from the pit of hell against your life. Cash fire not in the name of Jesus. Be set free. Be liberated. Be elevated. Be delivered. Arise and shine. You are the light of the world. Go and shine in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. You are the light of the world. The Bible says the light that shineth in darkness that darkness can never comprehend. Go and shine without any termination. Without Your light can never be quenched in the name of Jesus. Your light can never be quenched in the name of Jesus. You can never be quenched in the name of Jesus. You will not be terminated in the name of Jesus. You are, li- you are living to fulfill your destiny. You are living to fulfill your purpose in the name of Jesus. It is well with everything that pertains to your life in Jesus' name. You are blessed in Jesus' name. My name is G.A. David from Richmond Hill, Canada. By the special grace of God, I, I, I want to urge you to, to share this message. Let other people be blessed as well. As you are doing that, God is blessing you the more in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm waiting for your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the special grace of God, uh, if you are around GTA, Greater Toronto area, we have our program every Sunday at 12 p.m. at 284 Brandy Crescent, Richmond Hill, Ontario. And if you are around GTA, come and worship with us. Come and see the moves of God and uh, the beauty of God in His holiness in the name of Jesus. And at the same time, if you are not around GTA, Look for any Bible living church around you. Go there, worship God, appreciate God, acknowledge God. That is why, that is the, you know, the main purpose He sent us to this world. And it is well, and you are blessed as you are doing that. Share this message, let other people be blessed as well. And by the special grace of God, we shall be meeting next week again, if our Father Tarnis is coming, for another new episode. Stay in faith and remain blessed. Shalom. <laughs>